We all experience stress, but what if we didn't have to? From hard breakups to stresses at work to simply stressing about being stressed, stress is a part of all of our lives. And while there are many therapies to help manage our stress levels, it would be nice to have a vaccine that would grant us immunity against stress. Fortunately, this may not be as unrealistic as you might think. In an ideal world, a stress vaccine would allow people to be unaffected by their high stress situations. It could allow war veterans to return to their normal lives without the risk of conditions such as PTSD or prevent depression in people who are out of work. A stress vaccine could even give children in extreme poverty a better shot at overcoming their upbringing. Just like with any vaccine ever created, researchers turned towards Mother Nature for help. And there, in the dirt, they discovered a bacteria that has the potential to make a stress vaccine possible. Studies have shown that children raised in an environment surrounded by animals and bacteria-laden dust have a stress-resilient immune system. They are also at a lower risk of mental illness than those who live in the relatively sterile environments of cities. Keeping that in mind, researchers found that when a particular soil-loving bacteria known as Mycobacterium vacae is injected into mice, it alters the animal's behavior in a way similar to that of antidepressants and has long-lasting anti-inflammatory effects on the brain. But researchers did not know exactly how this bacteria reduced stress and inflammation in test animals. It's known that stress can induce inflammation in the brain. In the new study, researchers identified an anti-inflammatory fat in the soil bacterium, which directly reduces inflammatory activity in immune cells and blocks stress. When rat models were injected with a synthetic version of this fat, the rats showed higher levels of this anti-inflammatory protein in the hippocampus. Increased presence of this anti-inflammatory protein helps control moods like anxiety and fear. When these rats were exposed to a stressor, the immunized rats had lower levels of the stress-induced protein. This work goes hand in hand with the idea of the old friends hypothesis, which is an idea that suggests the immune system depends on certain microbes that evolved together with humans. However, in today's modern, relatively sterile world, our children are denied this everyday contact with land and potentially health-boosting bacteria and other microorganisms. And so, our bodies miss out on this collaboration with the microorganisms. This absence of these microorganisms is causing abnormal functionality of the immune system and increasing the risk of allergies and asthma. So maybe those kids who were eating dirt on the playground were onto something. If results prove successful in clinical trials in humans, this could lead to creating a stress vaccine of sorts. But would such a vaccine actually work, and if so, what would be the potential pros and cons of altering people's reactions to stress? After all, stress plays an important role in our survival. You don't want to feel calm and happy when you are in a dangerous situation. And regardless of if the vaccine works, what other consequences are we facing as a species as we distance ourselves from nature and the microorganisms we evolved alongside? That's a topic for another episode.